It is really daunting to think about making money online if you want true financial freedom without the false hopes that all the online gurus try to sell you. I'm glad you're here. You're about to see the best way to sell an online offer, one that won't have you wasting half your revenue on ad spend. But before we start, I want to let you know about Revenue Revolution, my free guide to generating large scale revenue with a small scale audience. You can find it at PamelaWilson.com forward slash revenue. If you're an expert, my guide for leaders will show you how to make great online revenue from your expertise. And my margin maximizer will help you calculate exactly what you can earn after you account for costs. And my expert statement creator will show you how to write a few powerful sentences that you can use to claim your authority in your bio, on your website, and in conversations. Get it all for free at PamelaWilson.com forward slash revenue. All right, are you ready? Let's dig into how to create offers that sell without spending money on ads. I want to let you know that content marketing is not a business plan. Creating consistent content is super important, of course, but creating consistent revenue is what really matters. If you are a content creator, you don't have to rely on sponsors or advertisers. You can create your own source of revenue. So if you are a blogger or a podcaster, or you have a YouTube channel, you have an audience that you built, maybe it's on a social media platform or an email list, you built an audience and you're serving that audience with your content. What you're going to learn today is an alternate approach to generating revenue online that does not rely on sponsorships and does not rely on you running a whole bunch of expensive ads where you don't control your cash flow. If you keep running on this treadmill of I'm going to create content, I'm going to build an audience, I'm going to create content and build an audience, you are going to run out of steam before you ever earn the revenue that you deserve to earn because it's just unsustainable. It's not fair to you to be focused on that and serving your audience and not actually earning revenue for your expertise. Let's make you some money. These are some things I want you to think about. Principles, let's call them. So the first principle is that you are worth it. Your expertise is valuable and you deserve to earn great income from your expertise. And these are some questions that you can ask yourself to see if you are living up to this principle of you are worth it. One question is, do you feel like you are well compensated for the work that you do in your online business? And you're not, do you feel like you don't resent your online business because it's so much work? The other question you can ask is, can you honestly say that the daily tasks that you do are leading directly to revenue? And the final question you might want to ask yourself is when you log into your business bank account, do you have a smile on your face or are you kind of scowling because you don't like what you're seeing? So that's principle one. Principle number two is that success can be easy. Your online business can feel easy. It does not have to be a slog. It doesn't have to be this, this place where you just pour time and effort and you don't get compensated for all the work you're doing. And you have a lot of control over this. You probably have more control than you know. So the questions you can ask yourself to see if you're living up to this principle is, do you feel your work schedule is fair to you and your loved ones? Do you feel like it's actually fair to you? The second question you can ask is, do you take enough downtime to rest and recover? And the third question you can ask is, do you take the easy option when making business decisions? Because there's almost always an easier option and are you looking for that and are you opting for it? Here's the third principle. The third principle is that, mm, 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 here we go. Success starts with you. 
This one's really important to me anyway. It's really important. You know, I am running my online business in this space that is full of self-proclaimed gurus, right? And those of us who have a lot of expertise, a lot of knowledge that we could be sharing with the world, we come online and suddenly we feel like we don't know anything and we have to learn from the gurus and they're going to show us how to do things. And my take on this is that there is no guru, there is no thought leader, there is no industry expert that holds the answers that are right for you. You have the answers inside of you right now and don't let anyone tell you anything different. So here are the questions you can ask yourself to see if you're living up to principle three. Success starts with you. Have you taken the time to think independently about how you can make your business a reflection of you and not what the loudest guru is saying right now, because that's how it is, right? Whoever's talking the loudest tends to get our attention. But have you thought independently about how you want to form your business? The second question to ask yourself is, do you take good care of yourself so that you can be the guide that your business needs? And the third question is pretty simple. Is your business everything you dreamed it would be when you started it? What I am proposing is a different way to think about your business. It's, it's really about serving your financial needs, but it's also about serving your emotional needs. And I believe you want to create a business that reflects your personal values while you serve your audience. And all of those things are, are different, right? Your personal values are different than my personal values. Your audience is different than my audience. We need to take all of these things into account so that you build an, audi an audience and an offer and a business that truly reflects you and you're really well paid for your work. I believe that you can create an offer that is your own source of revenue, that you control yourself. You're not beholden to sponsors. You're not beholden to ad algorithms. You can create your own offer that serves your own audience, reflects your own values. And what this does is it allows you to become a self-reliant content creator because you have a business that is owned and controlled by you. You have a specific audience, you have a specific personality, a specific set of values and skills. And so the offer you create needs to be very specific to you. Five steps, let's go over these steps. The first step that you need to do is to really get in touch with your market, to really understand what your market is looking for and the reason you need to do this is a lot of us who have expertise, who've been doing this for a while, suffer from the curse of knowledge. And this is where you've been doing something for a long time and you kind of forget what it's like to be a beginner on that, in that topic area, right? It's hard for you to remember what your beginner questions were when you were just starting out. It's hard for you to remember what things confused you or what you found especially challenging. So I recommend that everybody take the time to do some market research. I call it market exploration because I like to make everything fun. And there is a way to do market research that is actually kind of fun. I do have a video on my YouTube channel about market exploration. We can put it in the description as well. But the market exploration process is a really important part of this. What you're going to do is to just see how the people you want to serve are talking about the challenges that they have and what they find lacking in the solutions that are on the market now. This allows you to go into the market with your eyes wide open, understanding what people truly need and how they're talking about those needs. And that is super important because what it allows you to do is to take the words that they use to describe their challenges 
and use those words in your marketing messaging. Second step. The second step is something that I alluded to earlier in this presentation, which is I want you to take some time to really think about your personal values. This is such an important way for you to make your offer really unique to you. And your values might be things like, um, you know, a sense of humor, uh, a sense of acceptance, a sense of civic pride or community or leadership, whatever values you've developed in your lifetime that you feel really represent who you are, those values need to be in your offer so that your offer doesn't look like it was stamped out of a factory and it looks like everybody else's. You really want your offer to be unique to you. So I highly recommend that you just sit down with your favorite beverage in the coziest chair you can find and you just start listing like what's important to me or how would other people describe me? How would other people uh, describe what my values are? Sometimes it's easier to think about it that way. So get that noted down because you're going to need it for the, the following steps that come in this offer development process. The next thing that you want to do is to really think about your current strengths. And what I mean by that is at this point in your career, you have skills. You've got skills, right? You have a skill set that you've developed and there are certain things that you find relatively easy to do. So maybe you're a really good writer. Maybe you like doing video like this and you enjoy, you know, presenting live. Maybe you'd much prefer to talk versus to write. You have preferences and you have skills. Maybe you love delivering live in-person workshops or, or giving speeches, whatever it is. I want you to take some time to note those skills. And that's so important because the other thing that I see people do, people who have a lot of expertise like us, is they will, they'll say, I want to develop a, let's say a course. I want to develop a course and um, I'm going to make it a video course. But, you know, before I make that course, I have to figure out how to do video. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. We want to deliver a transformation to people using your existing skill set. You do not need to learn new skills. There are so many modalities that you can use to reach people online. I guarantee that you can use your existing skill set to deliver your offer. So get in touch with what that is. What comes easy to you? What do you enjoy doing? What do you find fast and um, simple to put together? All right, fourth step. Once you have done that market research and once you have gotten in touch with your values and your skill set, now it's time to create a test version of your offer. What do I mean by a test version? What I recommend is that you start out with a more pared down approach to delivering your offer. And the reason is that the best online offers are developed through an iterative process where you put a version of your offer in front of your customers, you get their feedback, you find out what they find challenging, what questions they still have, what confusion they still have, and you make your offer better based on that feedback. And you just keep your ears open, listening to all the feedback and all the questions so that you can make your offer better over time. But the trick is to develop something that really delivers transformation and help to your audience without all the beautiful polished branding and bells and whistles. So you test your offer, right? And you develop this test version of it that you put in front of people. So this is the fifth step really that you're putting this offer out in front of people and you're asking for money in exchange for this offer. You can put your offer in front of your existing audience, your podcast listeners, your YouTube channel subscribers, your email list subscribers, your social platform followers. You use your existing audience to test this offer with. You let them know you're developing something. You let them know you have 
a version of it that's available. It's not super polished, but you want their feedback. You want to work with them and help them. And you can't wait to give them a special price for being among the first people to test this offer. And you get that group in and start getting feedback from them. These five steps are the secret sauce of my offer accelerator program. And you can do them on your own. You can totally do them on your own. Um, In my program, I help you get through them within 30 days. So it's the first month of the six month program. We are going through this process. We hit the ground running and take your idea into an offer that you are testing within 30 days. And then for the rest of the six months, we're helping you to optimize it. We're helping you to create marketing systems that make it easy for you to promote. We're streamlining the delivery process so that it's simple and easy for you. Like I said in the presentation, online business can be easy if you choose for it to be easy. There's always an easier way, oftentimes a lower tech way than people want you to think to deliver your offer. The thing is, even after learning all of these powerful offer creation tips that I've just taught you, you still have to, you know, sell your offer. And that means that you still need to figure out how to sell it in a way that convinces people that they need it now. The key information that you need to create high converting sales messages is in this next video. So make sure you watch that next to really get the results you want.